who result of the uh, midterm examination uh, regarded the question of making a map of Southeast Asia. Several students did not know the position of the Mekong River, Java Island, Luzon Island, and East Timor. Among them, Luzon Island is the largest island in the Philippines and is a neighboring island to the uh, uh, south of Taiwan. And many overseas Chinese migrate to Taiwan from the Mekong River area or Java Island. I think Taiwanese people especially should know the location of these famous rivers or islands in Southeast Asia as common sense. The second part of our discussion on Southeast Asian fortifications, that is European influence fortifications and local or vernacular fortification in this area and Okinawa. Uh, for the first chapter, uh, I will talk about European fortification in Taiwan. Uh, related to this topic, I will explain to you the condition of uh, Tanshui in Taipei, uh, Hongkui in Penghu, as well as Zerandi and uh, Provincia in Tainan. Uh, these pictures show you the general condition of uh, Cape uh, Hongkui in Penghu Island. Uh, this narrow cape is located only two kilometers southwest of Makong across uh, the Makong uh, Strait. On the hilltop of this cave, the Dutch built the first fort in Taiwan in 1622, after an unsuccessful attack on Macau, and as a result of uh, uh, negotiations with a Ming officer, the next year, the Dutch moved their uh, base from here to Amping. For this reason, there are no buildings here. Only the broken ceramics brought by uh, them uh, remain. In 1623, the Dutch suddenly occupied Taiwan, which is located at the end of a long uh, peninsula and mouth of a lagoon in the present time area of Tainan. This place already acted as a meeting and trade area for both Fuchinese and Japanese merchants after the 1610s, but the Dutch took the role of the local rulers and they started the construction of their base, Fort Zerandia, as seen in these pictures. According to the Dutch paintings, such as uh, in these pictures, they first uh, built a four-point star from bastion-style fort and all his buildings before 1635. And within 10 years, they constructed the second rectangular foot uh, at the place of the office building. Outside of this fortification, the town of Taiwan was located in the, the old quarter of Anping, as seen in the light picture. Uh, finally, Zerandia Fort was completed with a complex of two parts, the four-point star part and the rectangular part. The main pier was located at the front of the rectangular part, where it faced a narrow strait. And another old pier was located uh, on the coast near the town. At the end point of uh, the cape, Every ship which entered the old pier was first seen from the fort. The Dutch constructed another fort in Tainan in 1653, which was Fort Provincia, located on the inside coast of a lagoon. The lower part of this fort still remains in the present times as seen in these pictures. It formed a combination of two square brick structures and ordinary on the flat roof, a Dutch style building was constructed. Uh, this upper building has already been changed to a Chinese style building. The ordinary Dutch made brick structure can still be seen from several sides, such as in the left pictures. And, and, and at the northern part, we can see a roofless space 
which is believed to have, have been a bastion or storage area, as seen in the right pictures, while only a part of a wall is uh, all that remains of Fort Zelandia, Fort Provincia has kept a lot of its original parts uh, in good condition. On the low here at the right bank of Tanjoy River, mouth of Taipei, uh, there is a small wine red colored fort at this place uh, where it is possible uh, to watch a wide area of the river mouth. The Spanish built a wooden uh, fort named Fort Santo Domingo in 1629. After the occupation by the Dutch, a new building was built and named Fort Antonio in 1644, which has remained until the present time. In the 1860s, the British occupied uh, this fort and uh, then used it as a consulate uh, until the end of World War II. Although during this period, a small part was restored. A large part of this building has still kept its original condition. Here we can easily get a long distance view of the river mouth, such as in the left picture. In the second chapter, I will show you a European style fortification in the Philippines and Indonesia. I have chosen two sites from each country which uh, began and Manila in the Philippines and Jakarta and Makassar in Indonesia. One of the most important European fortifications is located in Manila, which is called Intramuros. This citadel with an inside size of 1.2 by 0.6 km was completed in 1606. 35 years after the Spanish occupation of Manila. The lo uh, location is on the left bank of uh, the Pasig River mouth, and the citadel is surrounded by a wide moat, uh, 100 to 150 meters, which has much geometric uh, bastions. When the Spanish could occupy this place after battling with a Muslim king, they built the first fort named Santiago on the same area as the Muslim king's palace. Later, uh, on the outside of Santiago fort, the Spanish area was surrounded by a wall with seven gates, which was called Intramuros. As a result, Santiago Fort was uh, positioned at the, no the north end of in Intramuros. During World War II, Intramuros became a battlefield, as seen in the right picture. As a result of World War II, a large part of the inside of Intramuros was destroyed. But the Philippines had another good Spanish-built city, began which is located in the northern Luzon. Although this small city was never surrounded by a wall or fortified, the scenery of its streets and houses have kept uh, the atmosphere of the Spanish period as seen in these pictures. Usually, the grand crewer who houses in Bigan were constructed by bricks and the upper floor were constructed from wood, such as seen in the left picture. The inside of such houses was uh, furnished with European-style wooden uh, furniture, as seen in the right picture. However, a majority of the citizens of this city were overseas Chinese, who had Chinese ancestral origin. Batavia was established by the Dutch in 1619 as their important base in, in what is known, now known as Jakarta. As like as Intramuros in Manila, the Dutch first built a four-point star-shaped fort such as uh, can be seen in the left uh, painting. Less than 10 years later, the outside of the fort was surrounded by a wall. 
the total area of the citadel finally expanded to each bank of the uh, Chital River with a size of 1.6 by 1.0 kilometer, such as seen in the light map. At the northwest end of Batavia and along the city wall, there are still warehouse houses of the Dutch East India Company, such as seen in the left picture. The oldest building of them was constructed in 1718. From the east of this complex, we can reach the old port of Batavia, such as seen in the right picture. Fort Zelandia in Ampin was directly connected with this port in the 17th century. Now we will move to Makassar in Sulawesi Island. Indonesia. A powerful Islamic kingdom was originally established in this area. But after a long struggle, uh, the Dutch finally occupied this port city and constructed Fort Rotterdam in 1672. This four point star shaped bastion style fort still uh, retains most of its original condition, as seen in these pictures. Inside this fort, measured 225 by 165 meters, is located uh, several Dutch-style buildings which were used as office for the colonial government, such as in, in these pictures. This was a typical Dutch-style fortification and undoubtedly a very rare example as the well-preserved ruins have retained much of the original scenery. This bastion-style fort, in the shape of a geometric star, was born in Europe during the 16th century and developed in the 17th century. In Asia, this kind of fort was constructed at European colonies at around the 17th century. However, uh, the re revival fort named Goryokak was constructed at Hakodate, Japan in 1866. Two years later, it was the area of the final battle of the civil war of the Meiji Restoration. In the third chapter, I will explain to you the local style or vernacular fortification in Southeast Asia, with additional examples in the Okinawa Island. For the explanation uh, in this chapter, I choose several forts such as Ayutthaya uh, in Thailand, Baobao in Indonesia, and uh, Batanes Island in the Philippines. Ayutthaya was established in the middle of the 14th century as the capital of the Second Kingdom of the Thai ethnicity at the downstream of the Chao Phraya River. At this place, the Chao Phraya River joins with the Branch River and the canal connects two rivers to the capital area, which forms an, as an island-like condition, as seen in these two pictures. Along the riverside, a wall was constructed the, the area of this capital could then be seen as a kind of world city or citadel, 4.1 by uh, 2.3 km. And on the inside of the world, the royal palaces and many temples were built as seen in the light pictures. However, by transportation through the Chaupre River, this city was directly connected with the sea area and therefore Ayutthaya acted as one of the largest port cities in Southeast Asia. At Baba in Bhutan, a small island uh, close to southeast of Sulawesi, Indonesia, there is a strong fort called Warrior Fort. This fort was uh, constructed as the capital of the Bhutan Sultanate in the early 17th century. The wall was made of coral stone, 710 by 670 meters, 
and was designed uh, from a very strange, strange plan, uh, placing it uh, on the edge of the, a sharp cliff as seen in the right picture. Because a Baobab port was located on the coast 100 meters lower than the wall fort, it was possible to watch the port from the uh, perspective of the fort, as seen in the left picture, and the house of the Sultan and the royal families, as well as the royal mosque, were constructed uh, on the inside of the citadel, as seen in the right pictures. In Okinawa Island, one of the island areas neighboring Taiwan and now a part of the southwest end of Japan, was the Ryukyu Kingdom, which was established in the 15th century. The capital uh, Shuri Fort was constructed at the highest position behind Naha Port. The wall, made by coral stone, reached the unique curved line and surrounded a relatively wide area, 100 by 200 meters. On the Okinawa Island, many world structures of coral stone, called Gusuku, were constructed after the 13th century. Almost every village had this stone wall structure, and in the 14th century, a large-scale structure appeared, such as the Nakijin Fort, with a size of 360 by 220 meters, as seen in the red picture. However, all of the Gusuku have a holy place on their inside, such as that seen in the right picture. In the Batanes Islands, located in the Bashi Channel between Taiwan and Luzon, each village contains strange rock hills called Ijan, which are shown in these pictures. Although uh, the the Ijan are basically made of natural rock. An ancient worship uh, ceremony is practiced on the top of it, and some also have stone wall on the edge, which seems to be used as a primitive uh, form of fortification. The Ijan are not only uh, found in inland as uh, in the previous example, but also at the end of caves such as seen in these pictures. A Filipino archaeologist pointed out that the function of the, the Ijan is very similar with the Gusuku in the Okinawa Islands. Unfortunately, in Taiwan, which is located midway between both islands, uh, this kind of structure, up to the present time, has never been reported. To conclude uh, this lecture, it is very uh, clear that uh, the European style and the, the local style fortification were totally different, just as the styles of European colonies were uh, distributed at a long distance the local style fortification experienced a similar situation and were also recreated across long distances. It, if we can get another date, we will discuss the Taiwanese cultural relation with uh, these other areas and their fortifications.